What's up, y'all? Welcome to game day. Sort of. We're Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. I am your host, Edward Euler, and joined by my partner and some, well, very good friends of ours, some most of which y'all know now. I'm Jess. I'm Martin. I'm Julie. And I'm Rainer. All right. Well, we have a lot of publishers in the house here, <laughs> don't we? So uh, PAX Unplugged, or I'm sorry, PAX East just finished here in Boston. And while that was going on, well, Julie, you're local here from Greenbrier Games. You That's were right. there That's at right. PAX East. And Rainer was there for Board and Dice. And while Rainer was there, we thought, hey, while you're in town, can you extend your trip an extra day? We did the Churchill playthrough last night. If y'all missed it, you should go watch that. That was really good. Mark Herman hung out with us. That was a lot of fun. But also we thought, oh, since we saw this at Gamma, why not go ahead and do a unboxing? Now, I realize that it's an unboxing and we, yeah, I get that. Bear with me though. Um, this Teotihuacan was one of the most popular games of 2018. Um, we recently reviewed it uh, on the podcast last week, actually, and so, well, this is the world pre premiere of the unboxing of the components and what all the details of the uh, game or the expansion has. So, that said, we're excited to be able to bring it to you all, and thanks again, Rainer, for extending your yep. trip an extra day. Definitely appreciate it. Julie, for hanging out. Congrats on the Folklore uh, Kickstarter. That's going really well. Thank you Check so much. Check that out. Um, uh, who is it? Jeremy Howard, Jambalaya, yeah. says best uh, RPG in a, you know, tabletop RPG that he has played. So congrats on That's that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, and Martin felt, well, you guys know Martin, you know Jess and me, <laughs> whatever. Um, so that said, uh, you're going to run us through it. Yep. Right? So I suppose y'all, thank you, everybody, for joining. I am all out of sorts here because... We're not excitement. playing a game. Um, so I apologize. That and excitement to be able to show you all this. So uh, that said, thank you everybody for joining us live, especially y'all live. Uh, and those of y'all after the fact, um, y'all ready to dig into it? Yeah? Y'all yeah. at mm -hmm. home ready to dig into it, hopefully. Uh, that said, let's, let's, let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? So welcome. This is the final graphic, right? This is yes. what the box actually looks like. And it is like Ticket to Ride expansion size. Like you, you right. tell us. Right. So, so it's the, the same, uh, the, the, the square of the size of the box is the same size as the the base game, but it's just slightly shallower. Okay. But, All right. And of course, everything that you see, it, it is final, art final uh, that way, but it is still prototype because it's still uh, being printed. Right yeah, now, yeah, so. right, right. And when can folk, well, you know what, here, enough about that. Let's go ahead and dig into it, shall we? All right. Before we start. Uh, okay. Yeah. What? Can, can I share uh, one thing that, that would be interesting, I think? Okay, sure. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> What's up? So um, there was a knight and he had been on a, uh, in a quest for, for his king and he was headed back uh, home and it had been a long and, and tiring journey and he decided he wanted to find a place to, to rest for the night. In the distance, he he saw that there was there was what looked like a monastery, and he said, "You know, if if I ride over there, maybe they'll they'll provide a bed for me that I can that I can rest." He rides over there. He knocks on the door and explains the situation and and asks if he can spend the night. and And they say, "Sure, that that'd be fine." They give him a banana and an apple and a bed to sleep in. Late at night, he's awakened by this strange sound that is coming from the courtyard. There's this monk that is just jumping around down there, and so I, I need to go check out what's what's going on with this. So the knight runs down the stairs, and the monk jumps over the wall. And this wall was so so high that the knight could not get over it. So he decided to go home and train for a year. And he comes back. He asks if he can spend the night. They say sure, and they give him a banana and an apple and a bed to sleep in. Late at night, he's awakened by the strange sound coming from the courtyard, the monk that is jumping around. And he runs down the stairs, jump after the monk, over the wall, and they come to a forest. Now, this forest is so thick with trees that there's no way for the knight to really get, get through the forest. And the monk, he's already long gone. So the knight decides to go home and train for a year. And he comes right. back. He's persistent. He is. 
He comes back. He asks if he can spend the night. They say sure. They give him a banana and an apple and a bed to sleep in. Late at night, he's awakened by the strange sound coming from the courtyard. The monk that is jumping around. So he runs down the stairs, jumps after the monk over the wall. They run through the forest and they come to a, a stream. Now the current in the stream, it's really strong. So the night he cannot swim to the other side. And of course the monk is long gone. So the knight decides to go home and train for a year. He comes back and asks if he can spend the night. And they say sure. They give him a banana and an apple and a bed to sleep in. Late at night he's awakened by the strange sound coming from the courtyard. The monk that is jumping around. So he runs down the stairs, jumps after the monk over the wall. They run through the, the, the forest. They swim across the stream. They come to a cliff. And this is a very steep cliff. So of course the knight, he can't, he can't climb up the cliff. And the monk is already halfway to the top. So the knight decides to go home and train for a year. He comes back, asks if he can spend the night, and they say sure, they give him a banana and an apple and a bed to sleep in, and late at night he's awakened by the strange sound coming from the courtyard, the monk that is jumping around. So he runs down the stairs, jumps after the monk over the wall, they run through the forest, they swim across the, the stream, they climb up the cliff, and they come to a lake. And this lake, it's so wide, there's no way that the monk would be, or that the knight would be able to swim to the other side. And of course the monk is already halfway across the lake. So the knight decides to go home and train for a year. He comes back and asks if he can spend the night, and they say sure, and they give him a banana and an apple and a bed to sleep in. And late at night he's awakened by the strange sound, the monk that's jumping around. So he runs down the stairs, jumps after the monk over the wall, they run through the forest, they swim across the stream, they climb up the cliff, they swim across the lake, and they come to an abyss. In this abyss, it's, it's just too wide. There's no way that the knight can jump across the abyss. So he decides to go home and train for a year. And he comes back and he asks if he can spend the night, and they say sure, they give him a banana and an apple and a bed to sleep in, and late at night he's awakened by the strange sound coming from the courtyard. The monk that is jumping around, so he runs down the stairs and jumps after the monk over the wall, they run through the forest, they swim across the stream, they come up the cliff, they swim across the lake, they jump over the abyss, and finally the knight is able to catch up with the monk. Yay! And he said, oh, I, I've been chasing after you for years, and, and I have to ask you something, I mean, I'm, I'm a knight. I'm a valiant knight, and, and I serve my king. How come you can do all these things and I can't? What's your, what's your secret? Well, says the monk, um, if you promise not to tell anyone, I will tell you my secret. And because the knight was a, a valiant man, he never told anyone. Okay. <laughs> Right, yo! Okay. All right, thank you for that. All right, so uh, welcome back to the Teotihuacan late preclassic period uh, unboxing. So, can we get into it now? So, all right. You know what? Sometimes I wonder. We 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 talk about shipments and, and stuff like you ship something with a ship, and we call it cargo, and you ship it by road, and it's called shipment. What's up with that? I was also thinking yesterday, since we're in Boston, it would be really exciting if Boston switched to the metric system, especially for weights, although I think that would call, cause mass confusion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a friend of mine, he's afraid of elevators. I told him he should take some steps to avoid them. I also met a man who, his, his eyes, they were covered with ketchup. His hindsight was 2020. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey Martin, do you know what, um, do you know what a pirate's favorite letter is? Mm-hmm. A lot of people would say that it's the R, but we all know that his true love is the C. C. <laughs> I knew that one. Mm -hmm. I'm on to you. I'm on to you. I could see half of it coming. <laughs> <laughs> all right, enough, enough. All right, so Teotihuacan, late pre-classic period. So here we go. There were. Th there's this uh, video that I like to to watch with my. With my kids, it's a uh, it's a it's a live safari that they do in in South Africa, and 
I've seen one this. Day, I've yeah. seen this. Yeah. It's, it's really cool. It's Safari and, Live, in yeah. fact. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and one day we were watching the the stream, and they they were following uh, two male leopards, um, and a female antelope uh, jumped in front of them, and one of the leopards said that he'd never seen her before. <laughs> you know, um, dogs are amazing animals. They are. I, I, I miss my Asher. Yes, yes, they, yeah. they are. Now, I don't know about Asher, but I know that most dogs are unable to operate MRI scanners. But cats can. Checks out. Yeah. Yeah. Can, cannot argue with that. Yes. All right. Okay. Oh. The stream okay. is certainly endless. <laughs> <laughs> there is a stream. All right. Kim. No, I, I. Speaking of doctors, I, I was visiting my, uh, my chiropractor, and I didn't think that he'd be able to improve my posture, but I stand corrected. Doesn't it upset you that viruses and bacteria can just invade your body without permission? It makes me sick just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Two years ago, my doctor was telling me that I was going deaf. Haven't heard from him since. Sure, let's get into it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you should. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So, Teo Teowakan. Teo Teowakan. Late pre-classic period unboxing. You know, it's hard to explain puns to kleptomaniacs. Because they always take things literally. It would be nice to know sign language. Could come in pretty handy. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Edward, I didn't thank you for for yesterday while I was figuring out the the meaning of many. It means a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're good now. We're good now. It has, has to be some kind of limit, too. Yes. Teo Walker. <laughs> I appreciate the early morning laughs, if nothing else, yeah, on a Monday. Yeah. So thank you. All right. Teo Walkan, late pre classic period unboxing. <laughs> Okay. There was also a guy who, uh, he loved driving trains. And, and he was just really bad at it. He, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> he, he, he was so bad at that, that one day he, he caused an accident. And um, lots of people unfortunately died. They took him to court, and he was he was sentenced to to death. He was to be electrocuted, and um, they, as as customary, you ask him what he would like for his final meal. As you do, two bananas. Tell they me gave more. Him, they gave him two bananas, and they strapped him in. They flipped the switch, and there were sparks and smoke, and he survived. Now, this was highly unusual because. I mean, he, he technically had been electrocuted, so the judge ruled that he was to be set free. And uh, he goes back to driving trains. He um, causes another accident, and even more people die. And he's again taken to, to court, and they sentence him again to be electrocuted. 
I ask him what he would like for his final meal. Two bananas. They give him his bananas and they strap him in, they flip the switch. Sparks and smoke and he survives again. This is extremely unusual. But he had been electrocuted again. And he is set free again. Somehow he gets his, his old job back. He's driving trains and causes yet another accident. Even more people die and he's again taken to court and, and again sentenced to be electrocuted. And they ask him what he would like for his final meal. Two bananas. You know, we've had it with you and your bananas because every time Checks you, out. you yeah. survive. Right. Right. So no bananas for you. They strap him in, they flip the switch, and there's sparks and smoke, and he survives. Well, the thing is, the bananas didn't have anything to do with it. He was just a really bad conductor. Mm. Rim shot. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jess. <laughs> do you know what the difference is between the Christmas alphabet and the regular alphabet? I do not. The Christmas alphabet has no L. Uh. This is true. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, checks out. Can I? It argue? does. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. I, I was still thinking about the Silent Night. David, see you walk in late pre-classic period unboxing. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. This is a whole new meaning of monk mode that I've never <laughs> <sighs> All right. So, so uh, there's a comment here. Rob says that I shouldn't give up my day job. You know, I, I've been thinking about that. If, if I were not doing board game publishing, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I was thinking actually at one point uh, of, of getting a job Cleaning mirrors. That's something I could see myself doing. Mm. <laughs> or farming. I love farmers. I have several farmers that are really amazing. They're outstanding in their fields. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I also have a friend who... She was working at a calendar factory but she was fired because she took too many days off. But before, before she lost her job, there was a, actually a, a break-in and two thieves broke in and they stole a calendar. Each one got six months. Amazing that actually the peanut gallery isn't coming up with even better puns. Right, they, usually, know, they usually <laughs> manage to help pun us. So. <laughs> oh, that that last one got me. I'm not gonna lie. The calendar, well played. Do Do you like ballet? Not particularly, but sure. Okay. One thing that always bothered me was that they wouldn't hire taller dancers, so the other ones didn't have to dance on their toes. I relate to this. Yeah. <laughs> G-Rex. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. I think we can go now. I, I, I've gotten this out of my system. Out of your system, yeah. you have purged a little? Yeah. Do you believe him? Me either, but we're going to try again. Go on, you can do it. Here we go. All right. Kevin says, I think they're just stunned in stunned silence. Something mm -hmm. silence. Yeah. Silence. silence. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Teo Teo walk on. Late pre classic period unboxing. We really are going to do this, I promise. Really, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's why right. we're doing this. Mm -hmm. okay. I love the way the earth rotates, it makes my day. I also. You know what? So, Teo Teo Wakan is in a mountainous area and, and where I live I mean in Utah we also have mountains some of them are kind of funny actually others are just hill areas yeah. 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 Okay. you know there was a blind man 
he fell into a hole filled with water. He couldn't see that well. Okay. <clears throat> Yesterday, while we, before we were doing the, the, the stream. The uh, Churchill stream? Yeah. Yep. I was deciding to, I was going to make a, a belt by linking watches together. That turned out to be a big waste of time. Mm -hmm. Wasted. <laughs> okay, yep. Robert's shocked that it's the first time that you've mentioned Utah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play you know, Robert. You, you know that about people from Utah? <laughs> Feel inclined to mention that, that they're, they're from, from Utah? Yeah. All right, all right. I sold my vacuum cleaner. It was just collecting dust. Hey, Julie. Yeah. What would you call a cow with two legs? I don't Lean know. beef. Oh, yeah. Now, what would you call a cow with no legs? What? what? Ground beef. <laughs> but what do you call a dog with no legs? It doesn't matter, actually. It won't come when you call anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. You're going to tell me next what you call a dog with no <laughs> nose. What? I can't remember now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <sighs> now, the next one we should warn. We have a joke that is not safe for work. Standing on office chairs. Or should does not approve. No. Get it out of your system. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. What else you got for us? <laughs> no, I think I'm I think I'm done. Actually, since you're inviting the There was um was a man, he was he was a European wasp expert. You're familiar with those. And um he walked into an old record store and he was looking for European Wasp Sounds, Volume Two, and he asked the store clerk if they if they had this, and oh sure, and could I listen to Volume Two? Yes, um, could I listen to a sample? And sure, they he was playing the the record for him, and something's not sounding right. Are you sure this is European Wasp Sounds, Volume Two? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm positive. Okay, we'll play the next track for me. Uh, something is still not sounding right. Are you positive that this is European Wasp Sounds Volume 2? Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Okay, play the next track. No, it's, it's definitely not right. I mean, I'm a European Wasp expert. This is not European Wasp Sounds. Oh, I apologize. I was playing you the B-side. Okay. Speaking of puns, I uh, I once submitted ten puns to a pun contest. I was hoping that at least some of them would do well, but no pun intended. It's a sad day. Sad day. It's a sad day. <laughs> it was. Now, if people are not liking these puns. I mean, it could be worse. It could be stuck in a hole filled with water. You, you know I mean well. Boo. <laughs> Boo this man. Boo. Uh, no. <clears throat> All right. Last time. There was um, the past, the present, and the future walked into bar. It was tense. 
It was also an elf, an orc, and a human that walked into a bar. The halfling just walked under it. Mm -hmm. I actually didn't even have to do that. It was just, it was just a really, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you know the... <laughs> Yes. It was also a dyslect dyslexic walked into a bra. <laughs> oh. No. No. Yeah. It's <laughs> 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 also a um, an explosion at a at a cheese factory in France. Nothing left but debris. So on that note, um, thank you for joining us, guys. That's I, but I had several more. I, I had prepared one with about our Swiss friends. I mean, I love Switzerland. It's I mean, even just look at the flag. Even that is a big plus. Had some <laughs> German jokes about sausages, but those are those are actually the worst. I'd also prepared jokes about unemployed people, but none of those work. Or PMS jokes that are not funny. Period. <laughs> You know, Rick Astley, he would he would let you borrow all of his Disney Pixar movies except for one. He's never going to give you up. All right. I'm Edward. I'm Jess. Nothing. Julie. And I'm Rainer. Bye. You think they're still there? I don't know. They might have left. They, they did. I would have run for it. I must admit. <laughs> I, I would. I would have too. To be honest. That was horrible. It was some awesome, of those... but horrible. Ooh. Oh my god! Amazingly horrible. Hey, yeah. look! Breaking some up the Oregon factory. Up. Oh, hey! I can't get. Happy April Fools, y'all! <laughs> So y'all were asking um, what the apple and banana were for ever since Pax unplugged. Well, there you go. That's it. I am German. And I, will I will find, find you. you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. There you go. So there you go. Um, yeah, y'all actually want to see it? Should we? <laughs> Before we get into it, uh, Thanks, A, for being good sports about it. Mm. Um, Rainer, actually, there were two or three people that actually noticed this a month ago or so. If you are a member of Board Game Geek, which, let's face it, most of y'all are, you can go over to BGG. There is a micro badge that Rainer uh, created uh, to have for those of y'all that watched the stream that persevered through some of yeah. those really bad jokes. <laughs> some were pretty damn funny, though, you gotta admit. I thought they were. I, oh, you're British. You don't care. <laughs> I'm just excited that I wasn't the one that had to not know what was going on and experience for it, it for the first time. This right. Time. Right. We so, um, by the way, turn. did somebody count the Glory to Realms? I think there were five. I think we got to five. That's I think what five. I had to. I'm disappointed that there were only five. I'm surprised that there were only that many. Right, and only eight. Wow, that's all right. Cool, good, Muhammad. Yeah, he's like, I just joined. <laughs> Yay! You did the wise thing, Muhammad. Well done, Muhammad. Muhammad, we haven't done anything yet. Yes, that's true. Uh, all right. Anyway, um, so every every April first, we've done something. We play Monopoly straight. We play Risk straight. And we wanted to do something a little bit different and. We were sitting, oh, so give a little bit of background yes. on this before yeah. we get into the actual unboxing. Um, it was the last day of PAX Unplugged last year. Uh, it was all the NSKN guys, all the Board and Dice guys. There was Julie, Jess, me. Robert. Uh, Robert was there. Robert Geislinger uh, over on uh, Dice Tower and from... Um, uh, who does Rick he, Schrand yeah. was there. Yeah, I, I, there were a bunch of yeah. 15 of us or yeah. so. And it's the last con of the year. Jess had gone to 31 cons. I think I would went to like 19. We were exhausted. Yeah, we were. Punchy. Yeah. And Rainer. On, on your cue. But hold on. 
the apple and banana and the monk joke, yes. right? The, that has no punchline. That uh, Kuba started telling the story of him getting trapped and new people keep showing up. Oh, go ahead. You, right. Yeah, well, ahead. I mean, it's it's one of those jokes that it's 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 not good. I, I think we all all agree. Uh, but it's also one you you can't be the last person to experience the pain of that joke. It's <laughs> way too long. And I've been and waiting since too... November. <laughs> <laughs> I have you two gammas ago. And then at Origins, I dragged you over and was like, oh, tell them the joke. Because you want to share. And you want other you people to experience You want to enjoy their pain. Yeah, because yeah, you, you know what's... That. Yes. I mean, in fact, we were just talking earlier, like, if if I bring my, my kids to, to a convention and they meet people, and especially if it's yeah. people in the industry or, or right. someone, they're like, have you told them the, about the night and the monk yet? I mean, it's yes. one of those. And, and it's not that my kids don't know the joke. They do, but yeah. they just want to sit there and watch, watch, the watch pain the pain. Yes. And yeah. so we're at dinner at PAX Unplugged or afterwards, and you're telling this joke for the first time to a number of folks, mm -hmm. including Julie and Robert. Now, I'm going to blame that on you because that was on your cue. Okay, to, well, that's to, right, because I got to, in, I wanted I to gave enjoy it to you. Yeah. I wanted yeah. to pay it forward, if you will. Hi. Um, and you guys just lost it like it was hysterical we have a picture of it too we, yeah. we, we do have a picture so out of that one thing leads to another we start thinking oh you know it'd be an epic april fool's day joke and it just kind of went from there and we have 15 people chiming in about ideas on how to do this so people have asked ever since Pax Unplugged, they kept seeing the apple and banana up here or at least the apple and they're like oh you're gonna stream newton this and that and then newton happened and it was still here. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. So that was uh, that was the long con. That was six months in, yep. in the making. And we'd mention it during lunchtime streams. Oh, yeah. Getting a snack, being right. hangry. So there you go. So been a long one. I heard jokes go over really well in Utah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thanks for being good sports. Hopefully yes. you guys had fun. Hey, do me a favor. Like and subscribe down below. Let's get into it. So here we go. Take and it's for real this time. Last pre-classic period. Here? All right. Um, what's up? It's oh, you not were. Centered. Oh, no, no, it's not because <laughs> the right, chat. There, there. here. I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit there so you guys there can you see go. it. Okay. Oh, wait. You sure? Yeah. All right. Hey, it's really <laughs> here. See? All right. There we go. All right. So here. There we go. So, Rainer, you want to unpack it. Ha! See what I did there. So yeah. we'll go ahead and here we go. So the, this expansion, uh, it's, it's a modular expansion, and it comes with, uh, there are five different uh, modules. The, the stuff that you see here is, is one of them, which introduces uh, a new orange uh, temple. So there, there are uh, three temples that you progress on uh, in the game. Right. Uh, this one adds the fourth one, which is actually, actually much more challenging to to advance on because the only ways you can advance on it is either uh, the sideboard or whenever you get a wild uh, temple advancement. Okay, um, so anything that shows any temple, it's going to include correct. this one, and this board replaces the other existing uh, six board, yes. correct? <laughs> because obviously, normal for adding to the uh, the I forget the house the, the houses yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah on and the then, avenue of the dead it replaces avenue it because dead. this so these two are part of the same the avenue of the dead is my jam yeah. word yeah. right <laughs> All and right. and then when you advance on the on on this temple when you get to some of these locations you will be able to choose a permanent benefit and it could be stuff like you uh, you pay one fewer cocoa whenever you collect resources or when you worship. And, and you decide to take both actions, you don't have to pay the cocoa cost. Okay, so that's what that is. And then okay. later, uh, so, so here you, you get to choose just one of them. Then as you go up here, here will be other options that you can choose to have an extra worker, to get um, a, um, a resource whenever you, you collect a discovery tile, mm -hmm. your uh, workers after Ascension start as level two, and so forth. And then okay. the ones here at the top are all related to, to scoring during the eclipses. So the, lots of benefits but of course now there's another thing for you to focus on but what it gives you will offset the 
challenge, challenge of, of having yep. to actually, because again, there are only two ways, this and the wild Correct. temples, yep. or the, I'm sorry, the wild uh, discovery tiles, yep. right? And, and, and also on, on board seven, the, the, that worship space also has the wild one. Fair yep. enough. Yep. And these are permanent there, mm -hmm. right? So that's module number one or one of the one five. Of the right? of one of the five, yes. All right, so that's one of them. Next one. Um, so this... Let me turn the brightness yep. down just a hair and zoom that out just a hair. Oh, actually, we're okay brightness-wise. There you go. So uh, this top board here is one that uh, you will you will use whenever you play with either of the other ones because normally this is board seven where you do decorations and this is board eight for the pyramid tiles. Normally those tiles would go on those boards, but with these these new boards, uh, that that's why you have a new sideboard just for holding the tiles on there. And as and as a reminder as well about the cost of the. Uh, the decorations. Okay. So what these do, I mean, they, they do similar things to before. You still add decorations and pyramid tiles. Uh, it's still dependent. The cost will be dependent on how many workers you have there and how many tiles you, you can build. But over here, for example, before it was just that, well, you could build three tiles as long as you had three workers. On any level, first, on second, any third, level. whatever. But now right. you cannot build on levels three or four unless you have a level four or five worker. Okay. But you also get other benefits of unlocking workers from worship spots and, yeah. and so forth. Okay. And then the this board, uh, now there are some options for you to actually build two decorations at the same time, as well as bonuses of unlocking workers or, again, uh, wild temple advancement. So if you use that together with the other one, you would be able to use use those to advance on. on gotcha. The so anytime it shows the three temples, it actually goes for all four. Yep. Temples, right? Okay, cool. So these are decorate. I keep thinking these are discovery tiles, but yeah, it matches the shape and everything right. else for those. All right, so that would be technically these are module. two separate modules. Yeah. Okay, so that's module. Call it two, three, and this goes with both of those. Yep. So if you play with one or either, mm -hmm. you play with that. Yep. So that's another one. And right. then um, there will be some other uh, bits and pieces that will come in the game. Uh, so there will be actual uh, worshippers uh, that you'll be able to, to have uh, meeples that go on the temple tracks. Uh, because first of all, that will be a nice uh, aesthetic um, improvement there. And because you now also need your discs, n not only for, uh, for, for some of the, the pyramid track, for the Avenue of the Dead, but you're also going to need your discs for um, for the new benefits on the on the orange. Oh, oh it's, uh, yep. for right. So so you'll get you'll get uh, several meeples and then a few more discs just to so that you have the the full set that you need for for those. Okay. Um, then these uh, tiles here, uh, these are season tiles, and what they do is you you'll choose one of them. Um, at the at the beginning of the game, and and it stays in effect until the first eclipse. Okay. And and they some of them do simple things like uh, normally uh, the each level of the of the pyramid uh, that you've built is worth five or four three or two depending on if it's the first second or third eclipse. But now it could be five four or three. Okay. So these are minor global changes for the round or for that section before. Until the, eclipse, next, yep. until the next eclipse. Or it could so be that, this one. that okay. this one, for example, next eclipse, instead of paying only one cocoa for levels one, two, and three, and then two for fours and fives, now the level four workers are also um, just one cocoa. Mm -hmm. Robert, I don't see a banana or apple meeple. I cannot support this. <laughs> <laughs> you did kind of force that on yourself. Yep. All right. So this one is... That one okay. is just so that you can play. That means that you'd play with the normal rules okay yes. and, and now you can you can include or not i mean if you want it to be have a chance of having the normal standard standard got coming it. up okay so go take them top to bottom uh this one right here uh is after the eclipse your new worker can start on any board oh it doesn't start on the one uh yep. i forget what one it, on the, the palace there yeah. you go the yep. palace right okay all right so there's that this one here your workers so only your workers you do not count them when paying cocoa or collecting cocoa. So plus a minus. Yep. In that, so a benefit but, and a cost, yep. if you will. All right, cool, all right. Uh, this one, every time that you advance on the Avenue of the Dead, uh, you immediately score two victory points. So if you advance on it uh, frequently, then that will be- There you go, so it's benefit. an extra two, yep. okay. 
And then I'm going to talk about this one first. So this one is basically every time you advance on any temple, mm -hmm. uh, you can pay two cocoa to advance on a different temple. Now, this one, you cannot advance. The second advancement cannot be on the orange temple, but it can be on any any one of the regular Okay, ones. so this allows you to, uh, to basically not double jump, but two... Two jumps yeah. on different temples. If you advance temples. on one and you have the cocoa, you can advance on a second. Nice, so that's going to allow people to race up those temple tracks yep. a lot easier. Yeah. Okay, all right. And the last one. And then this one, <laughs> this one is... <laughs> Double-edged sword. Yes, yes, this one is, is neat, especially if if you are playing with it and uh, it, it's been fun in... in didn't help, trying to help with the brightness. Go ahead. It. But it's been fun, especially in, in playtesting and, and demos. Um, if people don't know that this is the one that I love not telling anyone that it's in there. Oh, you're that because, guy. Okay. Because when this one shows up, you can no longer move your workers one, two, or three spaces. It's always two to four. So, which oh, means that I that just want to move that just one. Oh, I'm so sorry. You can wait until next, next eclipse. Next turn, right. Mm. Oh. That's nasty. That is mm -hmm. super nasty. But again, you don't. These are modular, so you yeah, don't totally. have to yeah. play with any of the module there, or you can take out individual ones. Yeah, you can take out the ones that you, that you don't. don't like. Yeah. So that's kind of nasty, though. It I is. like that. Oh, of course you do. Right. So. <laughs> but it also the upside then is that it helps you move around the board much quicker, faster. Correct. Because yeah, then yeah. in two moves you can be back to where you where you were. All right. Cool. Um, so, temple meeples. Yep. And more discs to be able to offset because you have another temple track. Yep. All right. And then well, what is arguably, in my opinion, the best of the modules. Let me open this up because the game really wants for this. And I'm going to zoom in for these a little bit. Asymmetry between all the players. Yep. So there we go. And we don't have to go through explaining every one, but you want to give the high level? Yeah, least? sure. So there are... Because there's a lot. There, yeah, there are a total of 16 of them in there. Now, six of them are specifically for solo mode. We know okay. that this uh, the game is very popular to, to play solo. So there are six uh, different uh, ones that, that you can play. So In fact, this is one of the ones. So you would get a normal one. The solo bot would get uh, one another one as well, okay. and and the way they work is basically. I mean, you get a you get the benefit. Often there's if you look at this one, for example, there's a benefit here, but then there's also a drawback um, for it. So so a lot of them have a really good benefit mm -hmm. with a drawback. Now some of them do not have a drawback, but that's also because the benefit that they provide is, is smaller, small or yeah. more situational. Okay. Or, or All right. You want to give an example of one of them? Any one in particular? So, so this one right here, for example, is one that uh, the cost of performing the, the main action on any board is always exactly one cocoa. Meaning even if a worker is not there, Correct. it costs one cocoa. But if there are four different player colors there, it costs one, one cocoa. cocoa. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Solid. So, yep. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, you have you have other ones. This one here, uh, whenever you research any technology, they cost uh, one less. Um, and you also act as if you have another worker on board five. So you can always research any of the technologies. Uh, oh, nice. That one. Okay. Mm -hmm. However? However, uh, you cannot worship. Period. Ever. Ever. And when you advance on the temples, you cannot uh, take discovery tiles. All right. Hey, uh, Wow, did you pick a fun one to come in first, uh, live, or... Uh, uh, Arsini. Arsini? All right, welcome. All right, no, Tony, you need to start at the beginning. You're not allowed to watch it live. There you go. And uh, no speeding up the... Uh, yeah, chipmunk. no, 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 no. no. Not chipmunk no this chipmunk. video. <laughs> I should have known. We can I'm shut it off. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. <laughs> so, all right. So, j again, just showing yep. all of these. A lot of words on that. Yes. Line. And... and the, my favorite part of these is everybody, whatever one you choose, you have to pronounce. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sit there and practice. Because Slack is saying wow. you, have to, you have to pronounce them all. No, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I think Slack <laughs> is, uh, is mis misunderstanding that. Is that rule? No. I, that, they're just adding Slack letters. Slack was a Kalpanakata. <laughs> I, that, was, that was fluent. Um, so, so this is this is also a neat one. Whenever uh, one of your workers ascend, you actually get to pick two, two of the bonuses. Yeah. Oh, However, yes. <laughs> every time that you would advance on a temple, regardless of how, you have to first pay a cocoa or three victory points, or otherwise you do not advance on that temple. <gasps> mm. 
you better be ascending early and often yeah. if that's the Ascend case. Ascend early right? and often. Right. Well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and of course, all of these. I mean, Kalapa. it's. I, it's all I, different I, I, um, I, I, artwork um, yeah. on, on each of the tiles, uh, representative of, a lot of these are gods that, li like anything else in Teotihuacan, we don't necessarily know. Because they don't exist, it's a dead... Right, I mean uh, it was dead right. for a millennia before the Aztecs got right. there. Correct. Uh, so, so some of these, the, even though there are signs that these deities may have existed in Teotihuacan based on murals and so forth, that's Take not, it with a great. You did the best you could, is what you're saying, with the given. But in, right, and 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 if nothing else, at least the, the the gods and what they what they are, uh, it's also then depicted in the, in the artwork and and everything. So, all right. I think it's Tezcatlipoca. Uh, obviously. Clearly. Right. Chantico. Oh, you got that one. See, well, well where done. Where at? <laughs> all right. There we go. All right. Oh, you can do this. Huitzilopochtli? Yeah, we. I, I know that's we. Huitzilopochtli? I, I, I got no. I don't know. Pochtli? So what is this? The God of War. Yep. And anytime you gain one or more victory points, gain an additional victory point. Mm -hmm. However, during each eclipse, when calculating the salary for your workers, you must pay one additional cocoa for each worker you have, which would be uh. ironic if it offsets the other Eclipse one, so mm -hmm. interesting, mm -hmm. right? Now these, we, we truly have not gone through these, like no. we, we've had the expansion here since Gamma, yeah. but we haven't gone through these one by one, so hopefully, oh, that is a lot of, uh, you want to run through that one? That one looks good, yeah. Okay, that one? Go, or, yeah. Uh, so that one, I mean, when you, uh, when you, so, so on any of the boards two, three, and four, which is where you collect the resources, um, you actually get to, so, so let's say that both you and I had workers on that board, I can use another player's worker as if it were my own. Mm -hmm. So if I have a worker and you have a worker and I move in with my second one, I can choose to treat one of yours as a third worker. Oh, nice. So okay. it makes okay. it much easier for you to, to collect uh, resources. Mm -hmm. However, whenever you place a building or pyramid tile, you have to pay one extra resource. Yep. So. so you get more, but you're right, spending exactly. more for that. Yep. Right. That one's got a lot of stuff here. Uh, that one, I mean, so this one just increases your your speed. So you can you can now move one to four or two to five if, if the, the other tile yeah. is in play, right? Um, or you can actually pay three Coco and you can move to any board of your choice. Oh, nice. Okay. Right. Um, but then you you collect fewer Coco and you can never. Spend Coco to unlock your workers. So your three Coco that you would normally pay to unlock your workers, you cannot yep. do. So meaning if you lock workers, unless there's something else that allows you, you have to waste the turn Correct. doing that. Then. Yep. Okay. All right. You can pronounce that. Uh, Oxamoco? Yeah, you know, obviously Oxamoco. I mean, Oxymoco. duh. You got it. <laughs> 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 Try that one. Uh, Mick to chew, uh, no. <laughs> I, I'm glad that everybody enjoys watching me struggle on my own stream so much. <laughs> Peanut Gallery as well as local. They know they can't right. do it. It's just fun to listen so, to somebody yeah. try to pronounce it. All right. Uh, better know. than I can do. All right. There. There's two left. Quizachol. That's Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl, yep. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, okay, Miss Quetzalcoatl. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> and there we go, we have uh, Metzli. Met Metzli. N except there's a T after the Z. Metzli. Metzli? Metzli, Metzli. I, Metzli. Yeah, that's the best I got, there you go. So there is a whole yep. lot of those 16. guys, so there you go. So again, just to rehash, because you guys stuck through through all this. So let me zoom out a little bit again, so, so this you guys is, can actually this see This right all here the is actually Module one. Okay. Uh, module two is the orange temple. Okay, so that is this yep. temple there along with this board that has to be because that has the temple. So yep. that would be module two. And then module three is the season tiles. Oh, okay. Season tiles. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which three. also would come uh, if you use this board and you can you can set the, the season. You don't so have to use no, this board you though can. for that. Okay. Yeah. That, so that is three and then And then four and five four and for those five. two boards. There. Yeah. And then all the 
and meatballs. Those just because you're going to need yep. for the temple and mm -hmm. everything else. So this is a what you would call the the big expansion. Right? Yes. Yeah, right. Yes. I mean, it's yeah, it's definitely a a large expansion for. It's a smaller box, but mm -hmm. it's a just it's, just slightly. Um, okay. It's it's a so it's not even the the thin. Um, and in fact, here um, in all seriousness, we do have. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> Got this. Well, you know what, actually. Anyway, for yeah. those that know, the uh, so that's ticket to ride size, right? Yeah. Whereas this one, let me see the side of the, the, sure. this. There we go. Yeah, so it's going to be wider than that. It's um, going to be it's It's, it's a deeper, deeper okay. box than this. All right, yeah. so here I will. So it's going to be deeper than that, but to give you an idea. Th this, is, this is half size, which was the only size box that I had. Okay, it, it's right, going gotcha. to be so there you go there yeah. so so it's going to be a this this step so it's it's just barely okay so a little smaller go yeah, next maybe to another other. half of that so mm -hmm. all right that gives you an idea on what you guys are going to be looking at here we go yeah all right so that was fun and thanks for you too because I know like Julie obviously <laughs> being a part of this and full full disclosure um Rainer wasn't wasn't coming to PAX East. He just came for this. Yes. This was the main thing. Just so happened that Churchill worked out really well. It and you did. were like, yeah, that actually came about at Gamma. Yeah. Um, and really glad because that was that was amazing. Julie, thank you for coming for this because you were like, oh yeah, I'm not missing I this because this is miss it. <laughs> so there you go. Um yeah, there we go. And Martin, um, you I were like thirty minutes of my life back. <laughs> You knew what was coming. <laughs> so there you go. Um, so if you guys are interested to see the expansion in play, we're going to be doing a full uh, teach and playthrough uh, live stream of it this Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So 1900 Eastern. Let's see. It's four and six. So that would be 2300 GMT and 0100 CEST because you all have had daylight savings across the pond. Um, not sure who's going to be there other than us two. Um, there will you in it? us three, um, and there will be one other. So there you go. So we'll see you guys Friday. Uh, I will be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. That's 1500 Eastern Daylight Time for a Bringing Back Conversations with Heavy Cardboard. I'm interviewing Cole Worley. I was going to do a little... Short. Quick interview yeah. with him at uh, PAX East, but everybody and their mother had a bunch of questions. And I was like, you know what? Why not make this a real one uh, and bring it out? So I think that would be a year on from the last time he and I sat down for a interview. Thought that'd be a good idea. He was yeah. on board. So there you go. That's what you can expect later this week. So that was fun. And release date on oh, yes. the expansion? Uh, Gen Con uh, in, in the U.S. and it will be uh, have a, a full release at Essen. Okay, so Gen Con mid-August, Essen being late October. Yes. Uh, worldwide, is it? Yes. All right, cool. Well, there you go. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks again for you guys at Rainer. Thanks for being best. really... That was a lot of <laughs> fun. Um, if you hate me now, I'm okay with that. And... <laughs> Five I more mean, glory to Rome. <laughs> yes. Y'all kind of deserved it, though, didn't you? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. I mean, it's April 1st. You yeah. didn't think we were going to play it completely They're great straight, jokes. Now you, you? Can, you can unleash them on your friends and family. Exactly. <laughs> and share. Share the love. Share, <laughs> share the love. And actually make sure you tell everybody to go watch this stream. Yeah. Slowly. Don't tell them why. Don't, Don't tell them exactly. why. Just say it's right. amazing. They need and to yeah, Vince, we are going to play with all of the modules just to show it off. Um, I imagine that some folks are going to be uh, probably the one that I think, uh, and I'm speaking just, we haven't played it yet, but speaking on a assumption that the hurt, my, my guess is the third expansion will probably be the one that folks are a little hesitant about the, the tiles because of the random nature of these. However, you're going to know. You can always lay them out. 
ahead yep. of the game okay. and, and be like, the okay, the first eclipse is going to be this, the second eclipse is this, the third eclipse, you know, the, or the, yep. the, the times between. So there's ways to play around with that. That was a lot of fun. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. I appreciate everybody being good sports. I'll see you guys on Wednesday at 3 p.m. with Cole. So I'm Edward. I'm Jess. Um, I'm not going to give my name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Julie. And I am Rainer. All right. So Rainer, thanks. Board and Dice, uh, Julie, Folklore. Check it out over on Kickstarter. That's it. Take care, y'all. We'll see y'all later on this week. Take care, everybody. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs>